Today I want to talk about the biggest mistake I did with my freelancing career and how it hold me back for years from achieving better results, more money, and a better business in general. I touched upon this point shortly on a previous video, but this time I really want to dive into that. And that is the fact that by calling myself a freelancer, I didn't really understand that I'm running a business. I thought maybe freelance is a different type of business, not like somebody who owns a pizza restaurant or have like a, a product company. I thought it's something very simple. People come up to you, they ask you to do the job, you price it, you deliver the job, you give them good service along the way, and that's mostly it. But that is very, very limited view of what a business is. And the fact that I didn't understand that it's a business and I have to understand all the business aspects of running a business, much like somebody who owns a pizza restaurant has to understand them, made me conduct my business in a not an optimal way, I would say. And it's only been in the last two years that I really understand that I have to think as a business owner and that I it helped me achieve much better rapid growth and help my business become much more successful. So when I just started off and I started off freelancing on the side when I was working a full-time job or when I was studying, and I think that's very common with people who start freelancing, I was only focusing on one thing, which is how do I deliver good work? After that, I actually started to focusing on the kind of service that I give my clients, which I think a lot of freelancers don't think about. And that also gave me an edge because I understand that the relationship is also a very key component of what your client buys from you. And it's not only the design deliverables, but that is nearly enough. Now that I've been reading a lot and I've been studying it and trying to gather all the other skills, I understand that a business, one framework of looking at a business is that it has four components. First one, lead generation. Where do you get your prospects? Two, lead conversion. How do you turn those leads into paying customers? Then value delivery, how you do the work to them. And then collection, how you get the money from them. So I would say that I was focused mostly on value delivery, trying to deliver the best value, best design, best service, and yeah, getting the, getting the money. And I was missing out on all the other aspects, how to better convert clients, how to better sell myself, how to better negotiate for better prices. And only when I started learning those skills, it improved my business by a lot. And I wouldn't say that even at this point, I have all kind of four components figured out. I just realized few few days ago actually maybe a week ago that my system for lead generation right now depends only on referrals so it's not up to me how many leads i get i can't control this and if i don't have enough leads in one month this month might be weak so that is not a very stable business to run and i think that is the most common problem that freelancers has and yet not a lot of them are working on the lead generation aspect of their business I'm gonna focus on that in the upcoming months to make that more systematic and more predictable. So there will be more stability in my freelance business. But in general, what I'm aiming to say in this video is that you should, first of all, understand that you're running a business and that you may have not, probably you don't know anything, everything that you need to know about running a business. So start reading books about business, about finance, about accounting, about sales, most importantly sales. And if you are telling yourself, but I'm not into that, I'm not, you know, those things do not interest me, then you have two options. One, to partner up with somebody who does know how to do those things well or outsource to somebody else, pay somebody else to take care of those aspects of your business or not do anything about it. If you're not gonna do anything about it, just know in advance and don't be frustrated when you don't understand why your business is not growing, why your business is not stable, why you are very frustrated when your clients either don't pay you, don't appreciate you, uh, don't pay you what you wanna be paid. Just understand that this happens because you don't know how to run a business. And I think that, again, the most common, common problem is that people only focus on the, the one aspect of value creation. How do I deliver the best, best value? But one, one of the frameworks in a book that I'm reading right now, which is called Scale, saying that a business that is just running out, just starting out, shouldn't focus on delivering the perfect product. 
it should be focusing on learning how to get people to buy the product. And I think that, again, as I said, because I was only focused on doing the best design rather than how to convince client that going with my maybe not so perfect design is the way to go, I couldn't, maybe I would figure out how to bring perfect design, but if I wouldn't figure out how to convert that client, that perfect design ability would go to waste and I won't be able to execute because I don't have paying clients. All right, that's it. Hopefully this will send you on a learning learning spree of reading all the books you need to know. I will put in the description. There is also a page with my book recommendations. So I will link below everything that I'm reading right now, everything that I think that you should be reading in general to learn how to better run your business. Have a super day. I'll get you tomorrow. I'm <laughs> sorry.